tax configuration. On your scan screen, go in the upper right hand corner, select settings, select config. On the left hand side, go ahead and select connectivity, select TCP IP. Over on the right hand side of your screen under server config, go ahead and select add. You can name your device. In this case, we're going to name it PAX. Then we'll go ahead and select IP address field. We will enter the IP address of our device. In this case, it's 172.20.10.2. We'll go ahead and click on check. Um, green check indicates we have good communications from the back of the ultrasound machine to the back of the device where the PAC software is running. Go ahead and select OK. Now we're going to go ahead and configure the data flow for the PACs. Select data flow. Under data flow, you'll see DICOM storage one. Select DICOM storage one. And you'll see the indicator to the right hand of DICOM storage one. Blue means that that the service is turned on. And that means as, as soon as you're done configuring this and you end your exam, it's going to send to the PACs at the end of the examination. We'll go ahead and change the name to PAX. We'll set the AE title of the device. In this case, it's QPath. And this is case sensitive, so it much must match the case of the device where you're sending to. Go ahead and select the port field. And we'll, in this case, configure to port 1112. Then go back up to your IP address. We're going to go ahead and select the PACS IP address we configured in the previous tab. Then you can go ahead and select apply. And you will have to go ahead and reboot your system. After you reboot your system, you're going to go ahead and go back to your packs, highlight it, and select check at the bottom of the data flow column. And you will get an information check status window. You'll get a server check, three of three OK. This indicates you have good communications between the ultrasound machine and the computer you're sending to. And you'll get a DICOM ping, three of three OK. This indicates you've got good communications from the DICOM software on the ultrasound machine to the DICOM PAX software running on that server or that computer. Select OK and you are now completed with your PAX configuration. If you do not get a good server check, that indicates you have selected the wrong IP address, I would go ahead and go to your IP address field and make sure you have the correct device selected and you have the correct IP address. If you do not get a good DICOM ping, this could indicate you have an incorrect AE title. Again, these are case sensitive, so you have to make sure it matches the device you are sending to exactly. Uh, for the port number, again, you have to make sure that matches as well. These will cause a, communica a communications failure in the DICOM ping. Please note when selecting direct store that as soon as you press the button to save the images to the ultrasound machine, it will store directly to your archive on your device and send to the packs at the same time. It will not do it as at the end of the exam as you typically would expect.